Well, it just doesn't get more classic than Gershwin. Uh, bringing him and his music to life in Dallas for one night only is Hershey Felder. The show is called George Gershwin Alone, and we welcome Hershey to Midday to tell us all about it. So it's been a while since you've staged George Gershwin Alone. Tell us about the show and why you are returning to it. Um, it's been about 10 years since I've staged it. I originated this show. Um, it's now 27 years ago in Los Angeles. Over the years, I've played it more than 3,000 times from audiences from all the way from L.A. to South Korea. And um, I, patrons have asked, especially in this time, to hear some of this nostalgia and this storytelling. And would I come back and do it for one last go round? And I said, yes. And I have some friends in Dallas who run uh, Broadway Dallas. And they asked me if I would come to Fair Park. And I said, absolutely. So that's what I'll be doing this weekend. And a historic place to be doing it in for sure. What is it about Gershwin that made you want to step into his shoes? I had played the Rhapsody as a kid when I was 19 for the first time, and I was astonished at the reaction of the public. It was so remarkable uh, to his music, and I thought I'd be very interested in finding out more about the man, which is not something that classical musicians do. We tend to go on the surface a little bit of the characters, but delve deep into the music. And so once I delved deep into the man himself, I realized that it was a very solid story to tell there, a very American story, and quite a powerful story. And uh, telling that story early on in the those days 20 some odd years ago had an effect with the public and they identified with the character and that became a show that people really loved and I've never played it in Dallas and I thought this would be such a great opportunity. How do you decide which songs to include since there are just I mean so many of them? Oh, that's a real problem. You go through a whole lot of them and you have to try every single one. But in the end, it's the song that advances the story and the song that gets you to the next point in the storytelling of his life that allows for the song to be included. And of course, you know, one can't do such a thing without ending with the Rhapsody, because if you do the public, if you don't, the public will be very upset. <laughs> and not to mention, it's a really good piece. Now, you've performed live in cities around the world. Um, I know you said you were eager to make this Dallas debut, but what are you eager about with this Dallas debut? Well, getting to know the Dallas public, one of the fun things that has been over the years is going from city to city um, uh, as a theater artist, as a musical artist, and meeting the people of the city and getting to know them well. It's one of the advantages of actually going about this in this way, uh, not being a, a film star per se, but being a theater person and meeting the people head on in each city, uh, not just to being an elusive character who comes in and disappears, but makes a relationship with the city. I already did one little thing as a, a small promo for a group from Fair Park, you know, the board members and so on and so forth. And I enjoyed the people so much that it was really, I was anxious to get back and, and meet more people. And one of the things that this show does is it gives me a direct interaction with audiences. And so I'm looking forward to that in, in most. Speaking of that interaction real quick, what can audiences expect? A lot of fun music, uh, the history of a great character, setting things like the Rhapsody in context, setting things like people that people know, like Summertime and the Libyan is Easy in context. Where does such a song fit in, in in its creation also in the world? Setting things like Swanee in context, understanding George Gershwin in his time, which would be 1898 to 1937, and also learning that such a great artist who left us so much also left us when he was only 38 years old. And that is a really powerful thing. Hershey Felder, thank you so much for joining us here on Midday. Now, if you want to check out Hershey Felder as George Gershwin alone, it's this Sunday afternoon at 1 at the Music Hall at Fair Park. For ticket information, all you got to do is go to broadwaydallas.org.